the escape route was blocked. On the Jalandhar Moga road was a heavily barricaded checkpoint. Ruko! Amrit Pal Singh, the self-styled radical who wants to create an independent Sikh state of Khalistan, was on a desperate run from the cops. He had barely escaped from his village of Jalukhera in Amritsar when police came to arrest him on the night of March 17th. Now once again, just as he was on the verge of being caught, the car screeched to a stop and took a U-turn. Seeing them escape, some cops started firing. But senior officers stopped them. No firing. We don't want to create panic in Punjab. They had good reason to be careful of their actions. Thousands of Sikhs had lost their lives during the time of Khalistani militancy in the 1980s. Barely weeks earlier on Feb 23rd, holding the holy Guru Granth Sahib on his head, Amrit Pal had cowardly entered Ajnala police station to free his associates. There too, the police had refrained from firing so as not to harm the holy book and Amrit Pal audaciously had his way. So this time they were even more careful, getting along a videographer to record all of Amrit Pal's dirty tricks. And so they just got into their jeeps and started chasing Amrit Pal's caravan. They got close, catching up with his car and even ramming his Mercedes a few times in an effort to make him stop. Almost as if he was enjoying the chase, the millennial radical started live-streaming the pursuit on his social media accounts. This publicity could make him a hero among the masses, so the police had the entire state's internet shut down. Soon, Amrit Pal's group veered off the highway into internal village roads, increasing his speed to a mind-boggling 90 to 100 km per hour, overtaking dangerously in those single-lane narrow village roads, not even caring when he hit 6-7 bikers. The police was forced to cut back. Slow down. He will run over the whole village if we follow at this speed. So they slowed their chase and maintained distance for the next 15 to 16 kilometers. When the lane finally hit a T-junction, Amrit Pal's caravan split up. Two endeavors went one way, while the Mercedes with Amrit Pal and the Isuzu went the other. For the next 10 kilometers, Amrit Pal kept chopping and changing his route several times, but the police did not let up. The other police squad quickly caught up with the endeavours in the busy market of Mehatpur village and arrested its occupants. Meanwhile, Amrit Pal's Mercedes got low on petrol. So his uncle Harjit, who had been driving the car all along, made an impromptu plan. You two take the other car. The police will follow me, thinking you are still there. As the police were following at some distance, when the car turned a corner, Amrit Pal and his close-eyed Papal Preet rushed into the Isuzu and took a different route. When police jeeps turned the corner a minute later, they went behind the Mercedes, thinking that Amrit Pal was still inside. Once again, his tactics worked, but the police soon realized it. Amrit Pal is not in this car. We are following the wrong car. Find that black Isuzu. Knowing that was bound to happen soon, Amrit Pal quickly made another switch. Kake, get the Breza at Salimhan village. Now dumping the Isuzu, both got into the Breza and went to Jalandhar's Nangal Ambia Gurdwara. There, he changed into a shirt and trousers, trimmed his beard and replaced his regular blue turban with a pink one. Then along with Papal Preet, fled on a parked Bajaj Platina motorcycle. Then as if fate was conspiring against him, the bike got punctured. However, Amrit Pal used his charm to hitch a ride on a three-wheeler motor car. But the pace was slow, so the desperate duo stole a hero splendor bike at gunpoint and vanished into thin air as if playing their own Grand Theft Auto video game. Though disheartened, Punjab police formed three teams that night. A 40-member tech team to scan 5,400 CCTV camera footage of tolls, highways and dhabas. An intelligence squad to comb through data from mobile towers to help chart his route. And on-the-ground hit squads in Jalandhar, Amritsar, Hoshiarpur and Kapurthala. A day later on March 19th, they recovered the abandoned black Isuzu. Inside it was a Kirpan, a .315 bore rifle, over 50 cartridges and a walkie-talkie set. By this time, Papal Preet and Amrit Pal took shelter in the home of Papal Preet's former lover Baljeet Kaur in Haryana's Kurukshetra. The next day, his uncle Harjit surrendered to the police and gave up his Mercedes. For the past two days, Harjit had reportedly forced the Sarpanch of Mehatpur village to hide him in his house. Police ke Meanwhile, the CCTV team gleaned footage from Delhi's ISBT, showing Amrit Pal in the guise of a sadhu boarding a bus late at night and getting off near Pipli on the Rajasthan-Haryana border. Another footage the next day showed him 200 kilometers away in Delhi's Lakshminagar. 
this time without a turban, in sunglasses, denim jacket and wearing a mask. Still another had him near the Nepal border. Various footage and tip-offs from different states left Punjab's police deeply confused. So they tried to decode his various impersonations and release photos of seven different looks. But it was his eyed Papal Preet, an old Khalistani hand with links in Pakistan's ISI, who was using their help to dodge the police all this while. In a further humiliation, Punjab's AAP government was slammed by the Punjab and Haryana High Court. What were the 80,000 police doing in the state? If he escaped, it is an intelligence failure. Police intelligence finally got that all important tip off. Janab, aaj Amritpal Hoshiarpur which ek foreign channel lo interview de ne ja rahe So on the late evening of March 28th, when Amritpal was on his way from a dera in Jalandhar, the cat and mouse chase started again. This time as well, the speedy Amritpal abandoned his vehicle at Gurdwara Bhai Chanchal Singh in Marnian village, climbed its back wall and fled through the fields in darkness, evading the cops once again. The resultant manhunt for Amritpal resulted in 18 contingents of paramilitary soldiers with a huge overall strength of 19,000 personnel being stationed in the state. In the police crackdown, over 200 Sikh youths were arrested and 353 taken into preventive custody, though many were let go off later. Further, internet and SMS services were shut down. Concerned with the disruption in daily life, the Jathedar, head priest of the Akal Tak, Sikhism's highest temporal seat in the Golden Temple, ordered Amritpal. Amritpal, police they call surrender or onadi janch which madad kar. By then, most of Amritpal's close associates were detained under the National Security Act and sent far away to a prison in Assam's Dibrugar. In those first 10 days, only a few protests were held in support of Amritpal and against the crackdown on him which were quickly dispersed by the police. Seeing himself isolated, Amritpal played another hand by putting the burden on the head priest of the Akal Takht via a video on March 29th. I am Akal Takht de Jathedar nu vinti karda ki 14 April Besakhi de din Sarbat Khalsa bulaye. Sarbat Khalsa is an assembly of various Sikh factions called only on two other occasions in recent history. In 86, after Operation Blue Star, the assembly decided not to accept the Akal Takht built by the Indian government. In 2015, it was to discuss the issues of sacrilege to the holy book and against the then ruling Badals. What Amritpal was trying to do was save face by surrendering before a religious assembly rather than to the police. Who up their door-to-door -door searches in villages and questioning? Their persistence paid off when they arrested Papal Preet on April 10th from Amritsar's Kathunangal village. He had been on his own after the Hoshiarpur chase of March 28th when both had split up. Meanwhile, Amritpal, who had good networks and support in Dehras, often hid in them, going from one Dehra to another. With Baisakhi, the spring harvest in northern India approaching in four days, April 14th, the day Amritpal had asked for a Sarbat Khalsa, security was beefed up around the big Gurdwaras, Tak Damdama Sahib and the Golden Temple. Amritpal wanted posters were put up around them and at nearby railway stations. So Amritpal slinked away and reportedly fled to Rajasthan's Hanumangar district, where dressed as a Nihang warrior Sikh, he stayed at an old Aid's house. A team of Punjab police reached this house too after getting a tip-off. But Amritpal's eye monitoring the area from a terrace saw the jeeps. Sardar, police the police. Amritpal, bhaag. But how long could Amritpal run? It was already 27 days and now Punjab's police had a new trick up their sleeve. They aimed to catch him without firing a single bullet in the entire manhunt, which speaks volumes for the state and central agencies' tact and patience. Watch part 2 on Thursday 15, 6 pm to know what that trick was and whether it was successful in catching the fugitive. You will also find these sources listed in our video description section.